What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be working on a Toyota Prius. So this is my uh, brother's brother-in-law's car and we're going to try to fix the headlights today. So he just got this car and the headlights aren't that great. So what we're going to do is just try to buff them out and then just clean them up a little bit. The rest of the car looks pretty good though and it's just the headlights. So this is a 2015. 2014 Prius something like that so it's pretty clean overall it does have some damage in the back though right here and it's kind of beat up but probably just replace that later a little bit of fading right here but uh, overall it's a really clean car and I think I need a Prius too because man I need to save some gas right now gas is way too expensive and I think a Prius will actually help me because I commute pretty far for work but yep we're gonna go ahead and try it it's already taped off uh, Lang already taped it off and then we're just gonna go ahead and try this kit right here it's the 3M uh, restore and protect it's that 3M restore and protect kit so I'm gonna try that The best way though is like to do all this and then clear it, you know. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think the clearer actually help it out a lot. Just gonna sand this away with like a. It is like a Scotch Brite pad, huh? Yeah, it's, it's, it's not really. Um, oh, that's like weird. Sandpaper yeah, it has like a weird texture there? to it. Or just one. Uh, this is one. This is oh, the okay. one thousand grit. And then there's the two thousand right there. Oh, okay. Oh, so those are the sanding pads. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How right. much was that kit? Let me check out this. Ten bucks. See, so there's these right here. Oh, it's a clear coat. That's pretty cool. Uh huh. That's pretty smart. And then this is the thousand grit pad, and then a two thousand grit pad or three thousand grit pad. So that's pretty cool. So he's using the high grit first or the low grit and then we're going to use the high grit afterwards and then uh, I'll show you guys once he starts using the high grit sandpaper so here's the headlight before and then I'll show you guys afterwards after we're done with this one so you guys can see a comparison and so far it's looking pretty good already it's a pretty even sand huh looks good it's all nice and even now just cloudy and then gonna go and hit it with a 3000 grit and then uh, see how that looks like afterwards so here's the headlight now it's nice and hazy it's all one uniform haze and it looks really good now Ling's gonna use the clear coat pad and I think they say just yeah just don't be really, um, unfold it just leave it oh, okay Okay, that's pretty good. You just do your passing. I think you just let it dry too. Do the better ink. Wow. Hopefully it stays like that though. Did you miss this spot here? It just dries up and gets all <laughs> hazy again. Like <laughs> that'll be hooked, though. Man, that looks good, though. Yeah. Still a little hazy, huh? But I mean, overall, it looks a lot better, though. Yeah. So here's the the done side, and then. 
the not done side. You see it's super hazy. It's kind of cracking. I don't know if you could tell on camera, but damn, that side is a big difference though. Looks good. Good to this car too. <laughs> All right, the headlights are done and it looks so much better than before. You can see this side is done now too and it looks good. So it was so good that I decided to just do the GS2 and we did it right here. So you guys can see this side is done now too, all four of them actually. But uh, we started running out of the little clear pad. So what we did was actually use this and it's just like a high finishing polish compound and it actually turned out a lot better than the clear coat so you can see the clear is on this side and this is the polishing compound so it turned out a lot better and we're going to do it to this one right now damn you're using a lot bro no it fucking came out <laughs> come on there just when it gushed out i don't know if it's going to work because you used that clear on it already no nah, i don't it wasn't much yeah that's turned out a lot better already do half half of this do half of this and then see if there's any difference that looks so much better dude but see the thing is this clear has that uv protection stuff you know yeah yeah hold it brand new now though okay, let me see. Let's see if you could tell the difference um kind of but overall it looks the same it's clean though oh you do see it right here now see this is kind of hazy right here and it's like super crystal clear so It's not hazy. It's not as clean as the one. Well, you step back, it's really clean. You wipe it down. Yeah, that's good. Do the other side now. Alright, so here's the GS headlights, too. And thanks to Lane, clean these up. And dang, it looks good. Makes the car look a lot cleaner already. It's Damn. Crazy how much headlights make such a big difference. It's looking good. They look like brighter now, you know? It looks like newer already. Like before it looked like an old car. Like this too, like just makes it look so much newer. I know, right? That's why I like my 240, it's just glass, you know? And then you never have to worry about it. Just kind of wash it. All right, so that's gonna be it for today, guys. Just doing a quick uh, restore on these headlights. And then, uh, so I just decided to record this cause Lang was doing it anyways. 
and it turned out pretty cool so yeah this looks really good and these headlights make such a big difference once they're cleaned up it makes the car look a lot newer but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching guys i'll see you guys in the next one later peace